live from Interstate 84. No, not even 84. What the hell am I on now? Am I on 87? Something like that. In wonderful Wall Kill, New York. What a name. What is it with the kills? It's a Friday holiday long weekend working edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants. What do I got to rant about today? Well, being that it is a holiday weekend, there's always something to rant about, right? Well, holiday weekends make it even more rantable. Let's see, what do I got to rant about? Well, here's one. There's probably a whole bunch today I can rant about. Rest stops. What about that one? Rest stops. Yeah! First of all, a real quick shout out to the state of New Jersey. Um, New Jersey, what the hell is it with your rest stops? Like over the years, you guys have closed rest stops? And, uh, or ones that you have open? They're, they're like banker's hours, they're only open certain days of the week? Like what's up with that? Only during certain days and certain times and, you know, uh, like every other day or something, you know, like, you gotta use one of those disgusting porta potties which is really great on a holiday weekend when you have something like, you know, 65,000 people coming through, uh, the rest stop. And the porta potties don't get emptied out to after the holiday. Like, woo-wee! Something died in there a long time ago. It's buried deep down or something. Something's dead in there. But this rant is more about delightful Pennsylvania. Hey, Governor Wolf, I'm going to tag you in this. You'll never see it, but I should tag you in it. Okay, what about our tax money there? Like, okay, they just announced that our money's going to projects with the roads and stuff. What about our damn rest stops? Like, it's worse enough that we are so far behind the times that we just recently found out that the Declaration of Independence was signed. That's how far behind the times we are. Really? We are? That's how That's how bad we are. And, uh... Our rest stops, you go to some of these things and, like, you check the dates on the cornerstones and they were built sometime between 1957 and, like... 1965 or something and not much has changed not much has changed they're small you go into some of these rest stops of Pennsylvania especially Northeast PA and they're, they're just really small and they're dark like you go in dark colored tiles on the floor dark colored walls and ceilings and, and it, 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 you're just waiting for like an axe murderer to jump out? <laughs> really? I, just waiting for the old axe murderer to jump out there. You know, they're, they're hiding. They're lurking behind those uh, little spinny things that are older than dirt and hardly spin. They're supposed to have brochures about things to see, and like 90% of them are filled up with things about either restaurants, wineries, or uh, hotels. I don't know, maybe there's just not a lot to see in those areas. Like, you go in, for example, Wall Kill, you, you go into a New York rest stop, and there's 8 million different brochures and things about the different counties and things to do. Not in these Pennsylvania rest stops. With the exception of maybe, like, for example, the one in Port Jervis. Well, well no, the Matamoras side of Pennsylvania. Well, most of them, you know, are just small, don't have much information. And, and you walk into, uh, bathroom go to use the bathroom and it looks like the you know the person that designed or decorated came up with the idea of the, how to do the colors and everything inside the rest stop inside the bathrooms have, has been like long dead for about 80 years now because that's basically what it looks like it's just like oh <laughs> colors you go in and it's like oh, a what's up with, well first of all they just started replacing the hand blowers they got rid of paper towels a long time ago. And, like, these hand blowers were, like, they sound like jet engines that they were, you know, like, 
40 years old or something. Uh, the, the, the sinks, what's with the sinks? Really? These old, old ass sinks with one faucet. It's supposed to be just hot water and it's not really hot, you know, unless you basically waste a, a good portion of your vacation just sitting there waiting for the water to run. Ain't no damn hot water coming out of that puppy. Uh -uh. No siree, Bobby. No way, no how. So you're basically washing your hands in cold water. Um, with the soap that's conveniently located so that it drips all over the floor for some reason. I don't know. But like, really, like, what? what's up with that? What the hell is up with that? Um... And the stalls, like the, the bathrooms, most of them have, uh... Ooh, someone's in trouble. The, the stalls that, uh, are, like, really tiny, like, you, you can tell that, like, one of them has to be, is always redone, because of the whole handicap law, but for the most part, they're, like, the, these small, cramped-ass stalls that, that has the wonderful no-ply toilet paper in it. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't have toilets with the old pull chains on them, basically. And that's how that's how old some of these stalls are. It's like, it, why don't we just invest money and in, uh, redo these rest stops? Really? You know, for the amount of travelers that travel on the interstates now, you know, having a rest stop that might have, there's some of them out there that only have like two toilets. It's like, what the hell is that? You know? <laughs> Really? Come on, people. Like, I don't know. That's my, that's my little bitch about the rest stops, you know, there. Or, even as a truck driver, a lot of them don't have enough truck parking. Which, actually, here's another shout-out to New Jersey, who's gotten rid of a lot of their truck parking ones. Yeah, way to go, New Jersey. But back to Pennsylvania. You know, usually not a lot of uh, truck parking. And then, unlike a lot of other areas and states, our rest stops also double as um, either regular way stations or temporary DOT checkpoints. So then a bunch of the truck spots are already roped off to corral trucks in. So you have like a, a, a line of traffic of trucks trying to get in because they're getting DOT'd. Like Pennsylvania, come on, get on the ball here. Come on. You know, we have the highest gas tax in the entire country. Our roads are falling apart. Our rest stops are falling apart. I mean, when you go into a rest stop, you see things like duct tape and you can tell that the, you know, like the ceiling, you know, leaks and it like, Really? Like, what does that show you about the state? There's, there's, like, just no pride there at all. And come on, Pennsylvania. Harrisburg there. Mr. Governor, let's get with the program. Let's modernize a little bit. Modernize some of these rest stops. Why don't we make rest stops that actually, like, have actual facilities in them? You know, something where you could actually, like, at least get something to eat or something... Other than those stupid vending machines where you're spending like two bucks for a freaking 20 ounce bottle of soda that the state buys for 50 cents or 75 cents a piece. Let's get with the program. Come on, it's 2018. Really? Damn. I want to be able to walk into a shitter and not be knocked out by the smell because I'll tell you why. It is nauseating. It, it, it's some of these rest stops. It is so nauseating. Like, it, it's just like freaking 50 years of piss that's been soaked into the crevices of the tiles on the floor. It's, disgust, it's freaking disgusting. No matter how much that those people that work at those little rest stop things clean, you never get rid of that smell. It's just always a nauseating ass smell. It's almost like being in a porta potty. Really? Come on. Come on, Harrisburg. Let's get with the program. Let's modernize. Let's at least bring our rest stops up to, like, the 1980s, at least. Come on. I, I at least do that. Good Lord almighty. 
But anyway, have a good Memorial Day, people. There's more rants to come. I'm Frank the Lunatic, and for now, my friends, that's all I have to say about that. And again, stealing another tagline. I'm Frank the Lunatic, and I approve this message.